Hello, and welcome back to Cat Chris. Yes, <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for this day. We're now about a week off the release date of the new Tomb Raider movie, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to showcase my Lara Croft uh -huh. Tomb Raider collection. Yes, we're talking movies, games, and memorabilia. Where should we start? <sighs> Why not start at the very beginning? Yes, we have the really squeaky original PC version of Tomb Raider from 1996. Yeah, I really wish it wasn't as squeaky, but it's a really cool addition to my collection. I really like having this. It is second hand, of course, but it comes with a game in like a little CD case and everything. And so it's, it's in pretty good condition considering it is really old. I wish it didn't squeak though. Uh, I do have Tomb Raider 2 and 3 as well on the PC in the same big box editions. I don't have them with me here, but here's some clips. Yeah, you've seen them. Um, anyway, next up, we have Tomb Raider on the PS1, PlayStation 1. It's the bigger box edition of the PlayStation 1. I know you can get a standard case release of it, which I will get at some point because it'd just be cool to have, but it's another edition of one of the first Lara Croft releases. Comes with a manual and disc and everything and has the pointless double-sided <laughs> CD case. I can see why they changed the cases, but yeah, that's pretty cool as well to have. I thought it'd also be worth mentioning that I do also own Lara Croft Tomb Raider again on the PS Vita as a PlayStation 1 classic. Classic, I think it was called. PS1 Classic, that's it. Which is the version I actually play the game on. It's so hard to go back to. I can't get through it, it's really difficult. Anyway, of course, to follow that up with, we do have Lara Croft Tomb Raider, well, uh, don't worry, Tomb Raider 2, starring Lara Croft. They've changed the titling a little bit on the PS1 with a standard release case. Uh, yeah, it comes with everything, instruction manual and everything as well. And then, of course, Tomb Raider 3, Adventures of Lara Croft. Again, comes with the manual and everything, really cool. Uh, I don't have the last few games on the PlayStation 1, but... I do have Angel of Darkness, uh, which really told the developers to, you know, maybe we need a reboot of this for the new generation. I haven't actually played this one, so I'll have to give it a go at some point. I haven't really heard anything good about it, so not particularly in a rush, but nice to have nonetheless. It goes pretty cheap as well with the manual and everything. This one, however, Tomb Raider Anniversary on the PlayStation 2 Collector's Edition. Still in the cellophane because it was the best way I could get it. It was pretty pricey though. This is, of course, second hand again but in perfect condition pretty much apart from like a little bump on here which I don't know how it happened. It's one of my favourite collectibles I own. Um, it may not mean much to you but it's really hard to find a decent looking version of this because the, the sleeve and everything is just crumbled away practically on every other one I've seen. It comes with an exclusive documentary, soundtracks, artwork and trailers which are pretty much all irrelevant now because we have them all on the internet. And then of course I do have the PS3 HD remasters of the first reboot trilogy of games which is Legend, Anniversary and Underworld, which are out of order here. <laughs> that always irritates me. Why have they put Underworld in the middle? It's the third game in the trilogy. Ugh. Next up, I do have Tomb Raider Underworld again on the PS3 in this limited edition slick cover case, but it's in really, really bad condition. I mean, it comes with everything, I think, apart from a man- oh no, it does come with a manual. Um, and the two discs. It's so obvious that the previous owners used to smoke in the house because it's so brown and yellow around the outside of the case. And it's also dented quite a lot on the side. It's fine until I find a replacement. Next up, we have Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I don't have a Game Boy Advance, but it was a cheap purchase and it's apparently still in its cellophane. I don't know. I do get a bit wary from time to time that it's just, you know, they've taken the actual game out and they've just put a bunch of rocks in there or something. Because realistically, you could probably get away with doing that. I don't promote that. I don't know why I was saying that in a cheery way. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, quite, it's, it's nice to display and it was only a few pounds on the internet, so why not? Now, next up, we have the very game that got me into the Tomb Raider series and made me so obsessive over the character character and franchise, Tomb Raider. 2013, I guess. Yeah, just one of my favorite games of all time. I love this game. It gets you to care about Lara so much. I need to get the PS3 edition of it because it does irritate me that I don't have that. And to follow that up with, we of course have the sequel, Rise of the Tomb Raider. 
in this reasonably cool slipcover. It's a little bit wide compared to standard release games. You know, you can practically fit an entire game in here. It's a bit too tall as well, which causes a lot of issues when you're trying to display them on your shelf, but I, I just, I display it separately. Uh, got this day one of release and it's pretty cool. Comes with a little, you know, like one of those like digi book sort of things that Square Enix do. So it comes with a few pages in here. You know, it's nice and everything. Next up, we have another thing that is one of my favorite things in my collection. Rise of the Tomb Raider, PS1 custom case. I say custom because it's not an official release. It's loosely based on the press kit that is very rare these days. Uh, here's a picture of that. Doesn't come with instructions or the actual game, of course, but it's quite nice nonetheless. And then we have another cool gaming collectible, the Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris Gold Edition, which is a pretty big box. Yeah, pretty big box, which has a slip cover. Revealing the the actual box two boxes in one inside you would normally get the figure a little figurine Mine does have a sculpting error in that the pistols that she's dual wielding are too close to her face And it kind of scrapes some of the paint away on her face. It's just really irritating It's not me I don't think it's meant to be like that also comes with the actual game of course Which I put with my actual collection of ps4 games this one pretty decent game as well It's pretty fun to play through comes with a little book a little book. Of course, not a reading book. Uh, just pictures. My type of book. And then lastly, it comes with a little map. A little map. Uh, yeah, that, that, that. yeah, I also got this really cheap as well. I think it was only like £10 or something brand new. It's still in the cell phone, so I, I don't know why I would pass that opportunity up to get that. It's really cool. I mean, I'd probably pay for the figurine alone, not to mention the entire box and everything in it. And now we have a bit of an odd gaming choice, but Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, the action adventure. Uh, yeah, it's advertised as Lara Croft for everyone. And an exciting new DVD game. Yes, that's right. It is a DVD game. No games console needed. I think it, yeah, it's based on the Angel of Darkness, which I showed earlier, but you know, for people who don't have a PlayStation 2 and want to get into the Lara Croft series, I don't know. It goes pretty cheap if you're interested. I think it was only like £2 and then a nice slip, well, I wouldn't, uh, not particularly nice slipcover, but still. Yeah, it's got a like, nice cheesy explosion behind her. And now we're into the movies. Of course, the Angelina Jolie ones. And to kick that off, we have the DVD box set, which has both, that's the wrong way, Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2, or more specifically, Lara Croft Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life. In some really cool cases, I really like these. They come with a lot of special features on the back. I mean, a, a, a lot. And they come in some nice complimentary boxes as well. This one's like got a grey tone to it, and then this one's got like a golden bronzy sort of look. And they look really nice against each other. I really like this. But of course, if I was to watch those films again for whatever reason, I would want them on Blu-ray, and I do have them on Blu-ray. Not the individual releases which you can get, and now you can get 4K versions as well, which I really want to get into. But this is the two movie collection, which I typically hate, but I got this when these were still pretty reasonably expensive here in the UK, so I basically had no other choice. And they're not exactly great HD versions of the films, they're kind of, they're kind of more reminiscent of DVD quality, but why not? And then of course we have the pop vinyl Lara Croft from about a year ago, but it's got her dual wielding pistols and she's based on the original Lara Croft from the original Tomb Raider game. She has her short shorts on there and you know, it's just really cool figure. We've got a braid at the back. Really nice sculpt and detail on this one. It goes pretty cheap online as well, so it's worth picking up if you can. I really enjoyed unboxing this last year and I just found out today they're releasing a new pop of Lara Croft, but in the form of the new movie version, which is basically the 2013 Tomb Raider game. So. I am definitely gonna be buying that when I get a chance as well. And then of course, you know, being my favorite Tomb Raider game, I of course have a Tomb Raider action figure of the 2013 game. Comes with a pistol, a bow, a shotgun, and her little ax that she uses to climb, to, to climb stuff. Doesn't really have a great likeness to her in terms of face detail, but really nice figure with some really good accessories and came in a really cool box as well, which I don't have with me, but here it is nonetheless. Pretty pricey figure though as well, so if you're gonna look into getting one of these, I'd be very careful. Yeah, I wanna get the Rise of the Tomb Raider one as well, as well as the Rise of the Tomb Raider statue. And I've been looking into getting that cheap for quite a long time. I don't know if that's ever gonna work out, but. I just broke my Lego.
And then next up we have two of my favorite display items in the form of the Tomb Raider Limited Edition Guide. I think it's a, I think it's a guide. Quite a nice book. I like it because of the artwork. Same with the Rise of the Tomb Raider one that I got in a bundle with it. Really cool stuff here. The same size and everything. Comes with some detailed collector guide stuff, you know, so it help you get through the game and everything. I buy these for the artwork and I got them both for what, 20 pound or something. And the thing that really made the deal for me was I got these two with it as well. Uh, her little necklace that she has in the, the Tomb Raider games, the new ones I mean, and then just a little keychain with a, an engraving of an axe on there as well, embedded on there. I really like the necklace though. It's a little oversized I think, because when I compare it to the actual pictures and such of Lara Croft, uh, not that I look at her that often or anything. Yeah, uh, it's a little oversized, it's a little too big, but no, it's pretty cool. And £20 with the books as well. That's really cool. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's everything. I really need more Lara Croft stuff. Yeah, I've only been really collecting the Lara Croft stuff for like the past year or two. It's not really too much, but it's still a reasonable collection. I try not to go overboard in collecting specific franchise stuff, but you know, I, I can't help it. It's Lara Croft, you know? Hello, Lara. You know, hello. my babe.